Hey guys, how's it going? My name is Beatbreaker and in today's video I want to quickly explain how to get original quality back on YouTube as of today, November 2013 and also how to get rid of the annoying pixelation that's been going on lately and just in general make your videos look as good as possible. So first of all, um, a couple of tips here on, in Sony Vegas. And the first thing you want to change is in the preferences video tab, you want to up your um, maximum available RAM. So this basically just tells the program how much of your RAM it can use. And as you can see, I've got um, 16 gigabytes of RAM installed in my system. And um, this was uh, normally only at one gig. And that means it will only use one of, of these 16 gigs. And of course that made rendering times longer. You want to put that up a bit. And the next thing you want to change is the maximum number of rendering threads. You want to put that at the maximum possible number. And you want to um, uh, put this here on, the uh, GPU acceleration, which basically just makes uh, the rendering use the uh, GPU rather than the CPU, which is usually like 10 times faster. Uh, you want to click apply and then the project settings, which a lot of people say you should change them and whatnot. And I haven't actually not found any difference in changing any of these values here. So I just leave them at the um, at the defaults. And uh, then I've got my 1920 by 1080p resolution and the 30 FPS. That's just basically straightforward. There's actually nothing you have to change in this tab in order to get the original quality on YouTube. So uh, when it comes to video editing, here's a couple of m tips that I have to give you before you can basically render out your videos uh, so that they will appear in original quality. Now, the first and most important thing um, is of course, if you click on, on this one, you get like this rectangle selection tool here and then you can um, select all of your clips. You can go to edit, switches, Disable resample. You have to do this. If you don't do this, then you're fucking amateur. <laughs> it makes uh, like frame blending between blends and it just looks disgusting and nobody likes it. It gives headaches and um, you have to um, disable that. Just, just, just do it. Now, the next thing you want to do is add a little bit of sharpening because um, we're going to render this video, which is originally in um, 1080p and we're going to render it in um, 10. 18, 18p basically, so 1800p. Um, so we're basically upscaling it um, to get the higher bit rate on YouTube. And in order to do this, and because it would be blurry once it got downsampled again, you have to add a little bit of sharpen. So basically just go over here to sharpen, at the default sharpen, I've got a preset here, but that doesn't really matter that much. Oh, and by the way, if you don't wanna add it to, to every single fucking clip, you can as well just go to the rectangle tool here Boom, and they're on all clips. So um, we've got the sharpening here, and I've put it to um, 0.07. Um, you should be pretty careful with this one because it, it starts to look pretty disgusting pretty quickly. If you, as you can see here, if you put it to like some bits, I'm not quite sure if you can actually see it here. Um, yeah, it just starts look, uh, to look really disgusting if you put it too high, and I would just use a very mediocre sharpener here of about 0.07. Then the next thing you want to add, hang on a second, I'm going to make this again. Um, the next thing you want to add is a little bit of color correction. And this is because we're going to be rendering this out in um, MP4. So um, before the changes, um, before YouTube changed some of their encoding or decoding or whatever stuff up, um, we could actually uh, render out in WMV and uh, at a lower resolution and we would still get the original quality. Um, but this is not possible as of today. Um, so we have to render it in MP4 because we need to get high resolutions and um, WMV is not allowing us to get the resolution we would need. So we have to render out in MP4. Uh, but MP4 is giving us a little bit of a, diff of a different uh, color scheme and uh, things look a little bit different. And um, also for the quality, um, the pixelation always occurs at like bright regions. So um, down here, for example, you see the, the text, which is not very good distinguishable between the background. So you want to have a little bit more of contrast and a little bit more of darker areas in your picture. So um, if I'm going to put on my color corrector here, as you can see, I've got quite a bit of uh, more saturation on it. Um, if I'm going to disable this, you see the difference. Uh, everything's a bit more dark. Uh, everything's a bit more saturated and a bit more, uh, yeah, just distinguished between the colors. And now I'm gonna show you the settings here. Um, by the way, I'm gonna be putting all those values in the description below so you can basically just copy paste that stuff. Yeah, don't have to actually uh, get it from the screen here. Um, I've got a little bit of a low, mid and high color correction here. Nothing crazy. That's basically just 
preferences, personal preferences. You can you can do whatever you want here. Um, I've got a bit more saturation on it and uh, the gamma a little bit down as well as the offset. But that's just a tiny weeny bit that I've changed these things to just to make the, the picture a bit more dark and a bit less bright. As you can see, it's, it's a bit more dark here. Um, and that's basically it. That's all the all the things that I do to my videos in general. I don't have anything else uh, on it. That that's basically all there is. Now, in order to render this, you have to of course select what you want to render because usually I've got loads of shit uh, next to it, and you have to go to render as. And now here you want to click on main concept MP4 and you want to use one of these and customize template. Now I've already got a custom template, which is what I'm going to show you here. And this is basically what you want to put in. You want to go to custom frame size. You want to use 3200 times 1800 um, baseline and 30 FPS, of course, because YouTube is playing back videos at 30 FPS. There's no sense in changing this whatsoever. Um, well, so, so just a frame rate, whatever, um, pixel aspect ratio one. And now the variable bit rate. So here basically I've got um, two profiles here. I've got a 5040 and a 6050 um, megabits per second uh, variable bit rate setting. And uh, there's actually not a big difference between using this or um, this um, bit rate here. Um, Basically, this is just bigger. It's just gonna take a little bit longer for it to render, and it's gonna be a little bit higher, um, a little bit bigger in uh, file sizes. However, the quality on YouTube is not really better at all. <laughs> you don't see any difference. If you, if you can see it here, I've rendered it with uh, 6050 and 5040, and as you can see, there's like no difference whatsoever. I'm I'm pretty sure you can't see the difference if I click here and here. So that's the worst quality. That's the better quality. Like, there's no difference whatsoever. It just looks awesome um, overall. Uh, so basically just use this one here, uh, 50, 40 mil bits. Um, then here's the next thing. You want to be using uh, the CPU only or uh, CUDA or OpenCL if you've got that. And in order to find out if you can actually use with your graphics card or if you have to render with the CPU, you're going to have to go to system, check GPU. And if it says CUDA is available, it will, or OpenCL of course, uh, you can actually render the video out on your GPU. However, for me, this doesn't work. I'm not quite sure it did. It used to work, and then I've did some. Uh, I've done some driver upgrades, and now it's just not working out at all. So I'm just gonna use CPU only. This is no. It doesn't really take that long. It takes like half an hour, maybe 45 minutes. If if it were on GPU, it would only be like 10 minutes or something like that, or five minutes. It'd be fast as fuck. Um, but I don't really care that much. I just leave the computer running. And then in the audio tab, you want to have uh, the sample bit rate uh, and the bit rate basically matching your project settings. So what you're recording at should be the same here in the sample and bit rate. You shouldn't change that. Actually, the sample rate, never mind. The sample rate should be the same as your source. You shouldn't change that. Um, you can find it out basically down here when you're recording uh, basically what you've got here. Let me see. Well, that's actually a bad, uh, a bad decision, a bad uh, example here because I've got it on another one, but I'm not recording with this anyway, so whatever. <laughs> Never mind. Uh, you should just match the uh, the standard that you have. Let me just real quick see here. I've got it on DX Story, of course. My audio is coming from DX Story, um, so that's what I use here for recording my audio. And as you can see, I've got it on uh, forty eight thousand hertz. You should always make sure that these match these numbers your recording and your rendering. And project settings, video render quality on best, of course, as usual, and then basically hit that render button. And we're gonna do this, and uh, yes, this already exists, let's just keep going. And I'm gonna stop recording here real quick, cause that's probably gonna take about 12 an hour or something like that. And I'm gonna be back after it finished rendering. Right, so it actually took me about 36 minutes to render this clip here. I actually had to render it twice because Sony Vegas crashed. <laughs> I would always recommend you to use Sony Vegas 11 instead of Sony Vegas 12 because 12 seems to be crashing all the time. Kind of annoying. And um, as you can see, I've got the file here. It's about 2 gigs of size for the 7 minutes, which I think is quite, it's quite okay for, for the quality that you get here. 
Right, so regarding crashes, I've actually got another tip here. Um, if you've got a little bit of a problem with Sony Vegas crashing all the time, um, for example, if you've got loads of transitions here or if you've got text going on and stuff moving around, uh, then you might want to try to render the whole thing out in um, WMV. So that's my other preset here. Um, I'm rendering it out in WMV, 100% uh, uh, at the original size. And then just import that clip and render it again in MP4 at the, at the high resolution. And then it usually doesn't crash at all. So that's basically my other tip for crashing. And now let's come to the, the, the problem of the pixelation. So um, I've chosen a clip here of the map Savo 301 because that is a pretty hectic map. There's a lot of trees and foliage and grass and stuff going on. And uh, it usually looks pretty shitty. For example, this screen would look so shitty on YouTube, um, usually. Especially the names in the bottom left corner, you, you could almost not read. So in order to alleviate that problem, I've got kind of a trick here for you. So basically just go to your browser and um, instead of going to the normal uploader, go to the HTTPS uploader. So basically once you, you click on the upload, you will be redirected to the HTTP, HTTP uploader, uh, which looks basically exactly the same like the HTTPS uploader uploader, but uh, the difference is that you're going to get a secure line between you and YouTube if you use the HTTPS address. So uh, routers and firewalls are not interfering any longer with your uh, signal. And uh, I actually found uh, that this actually made most of the pixelation go away. I'm not quite sure why, but it just works. And another thing that I'm doing here is I'm uploading with my um, Internet Explorer. And the reason why I do this, uh, Internet Explorer, is because um, Chrome is not allowing me to use the Flash Player any longer. It always wants to force the HTML5 player upon me. And uh, I hate this. I hate the fucking HTML5 player. Um, so yeah, I just uh, use the Internet Explorer to get the uh, normal Flash Player and to upload it in normal Flash Player so everybody can watch it in Flash Player. And basically the video that I'm uploading here, I'm gonna leave or link in the description below so you can basically check it out and see how it looks. But that's actually all I have to say for this video. That's actually all the tips I have. I know it was quite a long video and uh, I guess most of my uh, subscribers are not quite interested in how this works because they're not um, producing content themselves. Um, but for those people that are actually looking for this original quality and how to get it back on YouTube as it was before the changes, um, then this is hopefully helpful for you. So as always, I want to thank you guys for watching. Have a good one. And until next time, cheers.